Today I'm going to be discussing logarithm properties. The first property that I'm going to discuss is log of m to the power of p is equal to p times log of m. And an easy way to remember this one is that since you have the log, the log of m to the power of p, you can always p in front of the log. You get it? Yeah. Okay. Um, second property. The log of x is equal to y, but you can rewrite this because you have the base here. You can rewrite the base number to the power of y is equal to x. And then the log of m times n is equal to the log of m plus the log of n. And you have to remember that the bases always have to the bases have to remain the same. Next one is the log of m divided by n is equal to the log of m minus the log of n. And again, the bases have to remain the same. Okay, now that I've gone over the properties, it's time to put them to use with a problem. Okay, first we're going to start out simple. We're going to start out with a simple problem of 5.3 times e to the power of x plus 3.2 is equal to 9.2. And what you have to do first is we have to get rid of the 5.3. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use some simple algebra and to undo the multiplication between these two variables, well between the number and the variable, is we're going to divide by 5.3 on both sides. And what you are left with is e to the power of x plus 3 of plus 3.2 is equal to 9.2 over 5.3. Now the next step is to 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 put the natural to put the natural log put the natural log on both sides, take the natural log on both sides. And what this is going to do is that the natural log is going to cancel out with the E. So using the properties we saw earlier, you know, the P in front of the log, you're going to take the P and you're going to put it in front of the natural log. And since you take the natural log of this side, you also have to do it to the other side. And what you're going to be left with is x plus 3.2 is equal to the natural log of 9.2 over 5.3. And what you have to do now is you have to get x by itself, so you have to get rid of the 3.2. So all you're going to do is you're going to subtract 3.2 on both sides. Then you're left with what's the equation to get x. And the way to get x is x equals the natural log of 9.2 over 5.3 minus 3.2. And if you plug that into your TI-84 or TI-83, maybe even Casio, you will get x equals negative 2.648. Okay, now that we've solved a, solved a simple problem, we're going to move on to a more, a, har a bit harder problem. Okay. Well, the problem is 8 to the power of 4x minus 3 is equal to 5 to the power of x minus 6. And what we're going to do first is we're going to take the natural log on both sides. So, it's going to be the natural log of 8 and the natural log of 5. But what you're going to do is, you're going to use again the same property we used earlier. Your P in front of the log. And 
we're going to distribute these p's in front of the natural logs. What we do next is we distribute. You distribute the you distribute the two p's among the natural logs taken on both sides. So you're going to distribute 4x minus 4x to natural log of 8 and negative 3 to the natural log of 8, as well as x to the natural log of 5 and negative 6 to the natural log of 5. And what you're going to be left with is 4x natural log. 4x times the natural log of 8 minus 3 times the natural log of 8 is equal to x times the natural log of 5 minus 6 times the natural log of 5. And then next step is we want to get we want to get the two x's on the same side. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the 3 times 3 times the natural log of 8 to the right side. So we're going to add 3 times the natural log of 8 on both sides. And what we're going to get is 4x times the natural log of 8 is equal to x times the natural log of 5 minus 6 times the natural log of 5 plus 3 times the natural log of 8. Now, we have now we now that we have all the numbers on one side, we need to get all the variables on the left side. So we're going to have to move the x times the natural log of 5. So we're going to subtract it on both sides. And what we're going to get is 4x times the natural log of 8 minus x times the natural log of 5 is equal to negative 6 times the natural natural log of 5 plus 3 times the natural log of 8. Okay, now to, fig now to find x, since we see that both of, these, both of these numbers have x in them, what we're going to do is we're going to factor out the x, which is going to leave us with x times 4 times the natural log of 8 minus the natural log of 5 is equal to a negative 6 times the natural log of 5 plus 3 times the natural log of 8. And now what we're going to do to get x by itself is we're going to, since x is being multiplied by these, we're going to divide to, on both sides. So you divide by 4 times the natural log of 8 minus the natural log of 5 on both sides. And what you're left with is x equals negative 6 times the natural log of 5 plus 3 times the natural log of 8 over 4 times the natural log of 8 minus the natural log of 5. And if you plug that into your calculator, you're going to get x equals, ne x equals negative 0 0.502. And that's it for the logarithm for the logarithm properties lesson